Next, take a look at the drawing that we've provided in the handouts for you to download. Go ahead and make sure that drawing's printed out and in front of you now. If you need to, pause the video and print out the, the drawing. The drawing shows a top view of an office building with two rooms. We see that there's lighting fixtures on the left side and on the right. And we see that there's symbols for receptacles, for data drops, for switches. And then at the bottom of the drawing, we see that there's a panel called, it says existing panel, 200 amp panel, three phase, four wire, 120, 208 volt. I'll come back to that in a minute. On the top right, we see an electrical legend showing the symbols and a description of the symbols that are on the drawing. We see receptacles and duplex or quad duplex, phone stub ups, 20 amp switches. Um, it shows a two by two fluorescent, or I should say two by two recessed LEDs, two by four recessed LEDs. And then it shows how the plan describes the symbols for home runs. Okay, at the bottom it shows it's a commercial office is the name of the project. It's, this is sheet E1. The very bottom in tiny letters it shows the scale at a quarter inch equals one foot. Now I'll go on to describe the drawing on the left some more. Blueprints are one dimensional drawings, meaning this is a top view. Okay, there's no mention of how high the ceiling is in this space. We're going to imagine it's a nine-foot ceiling, but it doesn't say that on this drawing. And sometimes on electrical drawings, it just doesn't show ceiling height. You have to go to architectural drawings for that. But you might imagine that, or let me say it this way, in, in, when you really run the conduit in this, you have to go up out of the wall, across, and even down into light fixtures. And then in light fixtures, rather than running from fixture to fixture, you'll literally maybe come out of the top of a fixture a little bit, go over and down into the top of another fixture. Same with these outlet feeds, okay? Now, we're going to estimate this, or I'm going to ask you to do your takeoff for MC cable, okay? But, uh, but this is going to be MC cable, so these dotted lines indicate um, what? Conduit and wire, or MC cable. Okay, again, the A21 here, the A22, 23, that indicates home runs. Okay, of course, S's are, stand for switches and so on. So again, these are one dimensional. When you're rolling this off, um, I'll show you in another video the tools you use for measuring conduit called a scale X, but I just want to explain the drawing in this um, segment. So that's it. You'll make a material list from this drawing. You'll roll off the conduit, measure the conduit, count devices. I'm going to show you an example of a takeoff next. I also just want to say that if you're estimating any size commercial job, you might have lots and lots of rooms like these, of course. It could be a whole office a whole floor of office building. Again, the purpose in this drawing is to show you the basics of how to use Red Rhino to do takeoff and how to do input. Okay. Next screenshot is a material takeoff form. Again, if you don't have this printed out or if you don't have it in front of you, go ahead and get it and pause this video. This is similar to a material takeoff form that's provided by Red Rhino. At the top, we see the name of the form is called Master Takeoff. Over on the left, the job name is Commercial Office. And on the right, we, we wrote the section Power and Lighting. Okay, so down in the material column here is where we wrote the materials. Then the quantities go in the quantity section. Now, when you're doing a material takeoff for reals, you won't see this assembly catalog information or any of the information down here. Here's the deal. We input, or I should say, I, I built this so that you could know what assembly or where to find the assembly for these items. As an example, here's a 20 amp duplex and it shows that there were eight of them on the drawing. Now, this is a little different perhaps than you're used to doing this because now you're going to count receptacles because when you input receptacles in Red Rhino using assemblies, it's going to show all the parts and pieces needed for the receptacle, the box, the plastering, the plug, the plate, etc. Okay, so again, on this takeoff form, hopefully you have it printed out by now, you, this, this is an example of making a material list from the blueprints, and then you'll input from this list into Red Rhino. I'll show you a video on that, or videos on that. Okay, so I'm going down this list here, 20 amp duplex receptacle, 20 amp quad, there's three of them, 
20 amp duplex weatherproof GFI and so on. Now look here, this is the data stub up. Notice that there's five of them. Let me go back and show you the symbol of that to refresh your memory. Here I just went back to the drawing to point out some things again as I was describing. See these are, this, this is the symbol for the data stub up. Over here we see the, the phone data stub up designation there. Thought I had that phone shut off, <laughs> and uh, and so and so on. So see, we have symbols for receptacles, um, symbols for um, quad receptacles, and all we did was we counted those and put the counts on the takeoff um, on the takeoff form. Okay, I'll get back to the takeoff form now. Okay, back to the takeoff form. Again, I'm just counting receptacles, counting quads and, and uh, receptacles and switches and data stub ups here, fixtures and all, because I'm going to input using, um, using special tools for Red Rhino that puts all the materials in for us. Now, so these, these first few items are shown using the assembly catalog. Then I'm going to go into Red Rhino and show you how to use the device wizard, okay? It makes it really fast to input materials. I'll show you a couple examples of that used for the switches. Then also MC cable I showed to use the wizards and specifically the conduit wizard. Now I'll show you all this in a video, but again, I set this material takeoff form so you could go into it, read it, and then just know where to navigate in Red Rhino Estimate to input the information. Again, down here further is circuit breakers, 4S box, these are assemblies, 411 box, red wire nuts. At the bottom I showed where there, there is $75 worth of permit fees, and I'll show you how to put that in. Okay, next I'm going to show how to actually input these materials into Red Rhino.